Sunan ibn Majah chapters on sacrifices. Sunan ibn Majah. Chapters on sacrifices it was narrated from Anas bin Malik. The Messenger of Allah used to sacrifice two horned, black and white rams and he would say the name of Allah and pronounce his greatness. I saw him slaughtering them with his own hand, putting his foot on their sides. Sunan ibn Majah 3120 Reference 26 Hadith 1 Sunan ibn Majah Chapters on Sacrifices It was narrated that Habir bin Abdullah said, The Messenger of Allah sacrificed two rams on the day of Eid. When he turned them to face towards the prayer direction he said, Verily, I have turned my face towards him who has created the heavens and the earth, as a monotheist, and I am not of the polytheists. Verily, my prayer, my sacrifice, my living, and my dying are for Allah the Lord of all that exists. He has no partner, and of this I have been commanded, and I am the first of the Muslims. 6-79162-163. O Allah, from you to you, on behalf of Muhammad peace be upon him and his nation. Sunan ibn Majah 3121 Reference 26 Hadith 2 Sunan ibn Majah Chapters on Sacrifices It was narrated from Aisha and Abu Huraira that when the Messenger of Allah wanted to offer a sacrifice, he brought two large, fat, horned, black and white, castrated rams. He slaughtered one on behalf of his nation, for whoever testified to Allah with monotheism and that he had conveyed the message, and he slaughtered the other on behalf of Muhammad peace be upon him and the family of Muhammad peace be upon him. Sunan ibn Majah 3122 Reference 26 Hadith 3 Sunan ibn Majah Chapters on Sacrifices It was narrated from Abu Huraira that the Messenger of Allah said, Whoever can afford it, but does not offer a sacrifice, let him not come near our prayer place. Sunan ibn Majah 3123 Reference 26 Hadith 4 Sunan ibn Majah. Chapters on Sacrifices It was narrated that Muhammad peace be upon him bin Surin said, I asked Ibn Umar about sacrifices and whether they are obligatory. He said, The Messenger of Allah and the Muslims after him offered sacrifices, and this is the Sunnah. Another chain reports exactly the same. Sunan ibn Majah 3124 Reference 26 Hadith 5 Sunan ibn Majah. Chapters on Sacrifices It was narrated that Meknif bin Sulaym said, We were standing with the Prophet at Arafat and he said, O people, each family, each year, must offer Udiyah and Atira. Sunan ibn Majah 3125 Reference 26 Hadith 6 Sunan ibn Majah. Chapters on Sacrifices It was narrated from Aisha that the Prophet said, The son of Adam does not do any deed on the day of sacrifice that is dearer to Allah than shedding blood. It will come on the day of resurrection with its horns and cloven hoofs and hair. Its blood is accepted by Allah before it reaches the ground. So be content when you do it. Sunan ibn Majah 3126 Reference 26 Hadith 7 Sunan ibn Majah. Chapters on Sacrifices It was narrated that Zayd bin Arkham said, The companions of the Messenger of Allah said, O Messenger of Allah, what are these sacrifices? He said, The Sunnah of your father Ibrahim. They said, What is there for us in them, O Messenger of Allah? He said, For every hair, one merit. They said, What about wool, O Messenger of Allah? He said, For every hair of wool, one merit. Sunan ibn Majah 3127 Reference 26 Hadith 8 Sunan ibn Majah. Chapters on Sacrifices It was narrated that Abu Sa'id said, The Messenger of Allah sacrificed a horned, defectless ram with a black stomach, black feet and black around its eyes. 
Sunan ibn Majah 3128 Reference 26 Hadith 9 Sunan ibn Majah Chapters on Sacrifices Yunus bin Maysara bin Halbas said, I went out with Abu Sa'id as Zaraki, the companion of the Messenger of Allah, to buy animals or sacrifice. Yunus said, Abu Sa'id pointed to a ram that had some blackness around its ears and jaw, and was neither too big nor too small, and said to me, Buy this one for them, as it seems to resemble the ram of the Messenger of Allah. Sunan ibn Majah 3129 Reference 26 Hadith 10 Sunan ibn Majah Chapters on Sacrifices It was narrated from Abu Umama al-Bahili that the Messenger of Allah said, The best of shrouds is a two-piece Najrani garment and the best of sacrifices is a horned ram. Sunan ibn Majah 3130 Reference 26 Hadith 11 Sunan ibn Majah. Chapters on Sacrifices It was narrated that Ibn Abbas said, We were with the Messenger of Allah on a journey, and the day of Al-Adha came. We sacrificed one camel on behalf of ten people, and one cow on behalf of seven. Sunan ibn Majah 3131 Reference 26 Hadith 12 Sunan ibn Majah Chapters on Sacrifices It was narrated that Habir said, We offered sacrifices at al hudaybiyah with the Prophet, a camel on behalf of seven, people, and a cow on behalf of seven. Sunan ibn Majah 3132 Reference 26 Hadith 13 Sunan ibn Majah Chapters on Sacrifices It was narrated that Abu Huraira said, the Messenger of Allah slaughtered a cow on behalf of all his wives who had performed Umrah, during the farewell pilgrimage. Sunan ibn Majah 3133 Reference 26 Hadith 14 Sunan ibn Majah Chapters on Sacrifices It was narrated that Ibn Abbas said, Camels became scarce at the time of the Messenger of Allah, so he commanded them to sacrifice cows. Sunan ibn Majah 3134 Reference 26 Hadith 15 Sunan ibn Majah Chapters on Sacrifices It was narrated from Aisha that the Messenger of Allah sacrificed one cow during the farewell pilgrimage on behalf of the family of Muhammad peace be upon him. Sunan ibn Majah 3135 Reference 26 Hadith 16 Sunan ibn Majah. Chapters on Sacrifices It was narrated from Ibn Abbas that a man came to the Prophet and said, I have to offer a sacrifice and I can afford it, but I cannot find a camel to buy. The Prophet told him to buy seven sheep and slaughter them. Sunan ibn Majah 3136 Reference 26 Hadith 17 Sunan ibn Majah. Chapters on Sacrifices It was narrated that Rafi bin Qadij said, We were with the Messenger of Allah in Dul Hulifa in the land of Tihama. We acquired sheep and camels and the people hastened to put cooking pots on the fires before they had been distributed. The Messenger of Allah came to us and ordered that they be overturned. Asterisk, then he made one camel equivalent to ten sheep. Sunan ibn Majah 3137 Reference 26 Hadith 18 Sunan ibn Majah Chapters on Sacrifices It was narrated from Uqbah bin Amir al-Juhani that the Messenger of Allah gave him some sheep, and he distributed them among his companions to be sacrificed. There remained an etude. He mentioned that to the Messenger of Allah and he said, You sacrifice it yourself. Sunan ibn Majah 3138 Reference 26 Hadith 19 Sunan ibn Majah Chapters on Sacrifices Um Bilal bint Halal narrated from her father that the Messenger of Allah said, It is permissible to offer a jada asterisk among sheep as a sacrifice. 
Sunan ibn Majah 3139 Reference 26 Hadith 20 Sunan ibn Majah Chapters on Sacrifices It was narrated from Asim bin Kuli that his father said, We were with a man from among the companions of the Messenger of Allah who was called Mujashi, from Banu Sulaim, and sheep became scarce. He ordered a caller to call out that the Messenger of Allah used to say, A jadah suffices for whatever a two-year-old sheep suffices. Sunan ibn Majah 3140 Reference 26 Hadith 21 Sunan ibn Majah Chapters on Sacrifices It was narrated from Habir that the Messenger of Allah said, Do not slaughter anything but a musina, asterisk unless there is none available, in which case you can slaughter a jadah among sheep. Sunan ibn Majah 3141 Reference 26 Hadith 22 Sunan ibn Majah Chapters on Sacrifices It was narrated that Ali said, The Messenger of Allah forbade sacrificing the Muqabala, the Mudabara, the Sharka, the Karka and the Jada. Sunan ibn Majah 3142 Reference 26 Hadith 23 Sunan ibn Majah. Chapters on Sacrifices It was narrated that Ali said, The Messenger of Allah commanded us to examine the eyes and ears. Sunan ibn Majah 3143 Reference 26 Hadith 24 Sunan ibn Majah. Chapters on Sacrifices Sulaiman bin Abdur Rahman said, I heard Ubaid bin Farus say. I said to Bara bin Azib. Tell us of the sacrificial animals that the Messenger of Allah disliked or forbade. He said, Allah's Messenger said like this with his hand, and my hand is shorter than his hand. Asterisk there are four that will not be accepted as sacrifices. The one-eyed animal that is obviously blind in one eye. The sick animal that is obviously sick. The lame animal with an obvious limp and the animal that is so emaciated that it is as if there is no marrow in its bones. He said, Asterisk, asterisk, and I dislike that the animal should have some fault in its ears. He said, What you dislike, forget about it and do not make it forbidden to anyone. Sunan ibn Majah 3144 Reference 26 Hadith 25 Sunan ibn Majah Chapters on Sacrifices It was narrated from Qatada that he said that he heard Jurey bin Kulib narrate that he heard Ali narrate that the Messenger of Allah forbade sacrificing animals with broken horns and ears. Sunan ibn Majah 3145 Reference 26 Hadith 26 Sunan ibn Majah Chapters on Sacrifices It was narrated that Abu Sa'id al-Qudri said we bought a ram for sacrifice, then a wolf tore some flesh from its rump and ears. We asked the Prophet and he told us to offer it as a sacrifice. Sunan ibn Majah 3146 Reference 26 Hadith 27 Sunan ibn Majah Chapters on Sacrifices It was narrated that Adah bin Yasar said, I asked Abu Ayyub al-Ansari. How were sacrifices offered among you at the time of the Messenger of Allah? He said, At the time of the Prophet, a man would sacrifice a sheep on behalf of himself and the members of his household, and they would eat some of it and give some to others. Then people started to compete in it because as you see, nowadays. Sunan ibn Majah 3147 Reference 26 Hadith 28 Sunan ibn Majah. Chapters on Sacrifices It was narrated that Abu Sariha said, My family started to put pressure on me after I came to know the Sunnah. People used to sacrifice one or two sheep, but now our neighbors call us stingy. Sunan ibn Majah 3148 Reference 26 Hadith 29 Sunan ibn Majah. Chapters on Sacrifices It was narrated from Um Salama that the Prophet said, When the ten days of Dhul Hijjah, 
begin. And one of you wants to offer a sacrifice, let him not remove anything from his hair or skin. Sunan Ibn Majah 3149 Reference 26 Hadith 30 Sunan Ibn Majah Chapters on Sacrifices It was narrated from Umm Salama that the Messenger of Allah said, Whoever among you sees the new crescent of Dhul Hijjah and wants to offer a sacrifice, let him not take anything from his hair or nails. Sunan Ibn Majah 3150 Reference 26 Hadith 31 Sunan Ibn Majah Chapters on Sacrifices It was narrated from Anas bin Malik that a man slaughtered on the day of sacrifice, meaning, before the Eid prayer, and the Prophet ordered him to do it again. Sunan Ibn Majah 3151 Reference 26 Hadith 32 Sunan Ibn Majah. Chapters on Sacrifices It was narrated from Aswad bin Qais that he heard Jundub al-Bajali say, I was present on Adha day with the Messenger of Allah, and some people slaughtered before the prayer. The Prophet said, Whoever among you has slaughtered before the prayer, let him repeat his sacrifice, and whoever has not, let him offer his sacrifice in the name of Allah. Sunan Ibn Majah 3152 Reference 26 Hadith 33 Sunan Ibn Majah Chapters on Sacrifices It was narrated from Uaymir bin Ashkar that he slaughtered before the prayer, and he mentioned that to the Prophet who said, Repeat your sacrifice. Sunan Ibn Majah 3153 Reference 26 Hadith 34 Sunan Ibn Majah. Chapters on Sacrifices It was narrated that Abu Zayd al-Ansari said, The Messenger of Allah passed by one of the houses of the Ansar and noticed the smell of a cooking pot. He said, Who is this who has slaughtered? A man from among us came out and said, It is me, O Messenger of Allah, I slaughtered before the prayer so that I could feed my family and neighbors. He commanded him to repeat it. He said, No, by the one besides whom there is none worthy of worship, I do not have anything but a one-year-old sheep or a lamb. He said, Sacrifice it, but a one-year-old sheep will not do for anyone after you. Sunan Ibn Majah 3154 Reference 26 Hadith 35 Sunan Ibn Majah Chapters on Sacrifices It was narrated that Anas bin Malik said, I saw the Messenger of Allah slaughter his sacrifice with his own hand, placing his foot on its side. Sunan Ibn Majah 3155 Reference 26 Hadith 36 Sunan Ibn Majah Chapters on Sacrifices Abdur Rahman bin Sa'd bin Amar bin Sa'd, the Mu'addin of the Messenger of Allah told us. My father told me, from my grandfather, that the Messenger of Allah slaughtered his sacrifice at the side of an alley, on the road of Banu Zuraiku, with his own hand, using a blade. Sunan Ibn Majah 3156 Reference 26 Hadith 37 Sunan Ibn Majah Chapters on Sacrifices Ali bin Abu Talib narrated that the Messenger of Allah commanded him to distribute the entire sacrificial camel its meat, skin and covers among the poor. Sunan Ibn Majah 3157 Reference 26 Hadith 38 Sunan Ibn Majah Chapters on Sacrifices It was narrated from Habir bin Abdullah that the Messenger of Allah ordered that a piece from every camel that had been slaughtered be brought and placed in a pot, then they ate from its meat and drank some of the broth. Sunan Ibn Majah 3158 Reference 26 Hadith 39 Sunan Ibn Majah Chapters on Sacrifices It was narrated that Aisha said, the Messenger of Allah only forbade storing the meat of the sacrifices because the people were facing hardship. Then later he permitted that. Sunan Ibn Majah 3159 Reference 26 Hadith 40 Sunan Ibn Majah 
Chapters on sacrifices it was narrated from Nubaisha that the messenger of Allah said. I used to forbid you to store the meat of the sacrifices for more than three days, but, now, eat some and store some. Sunan ibn Majah 3160 reference 26 hadith 41. Sunan ibn Majah. Chapters on sacrifices it was narrated from ibn Umar that the Prophet used to slaughter at the prayer place of the Eid congregation. Sunan ibn Majah 3161 reference 26 hadith 42.